up calls Igbo governors puppet, mocks them over attacks and killings in Igbo land. IPOB criticized the governors for conniving with the Nigerian government to get rid of the group that should be protecting their terrorists. The indigenous people of Biafra has blamed the Southeast governors for the recent worsening security challenges in the region. There has been attacks on security agents and killings by unknown gunmen in the Southeast recently. There was also deadly attacks on communities in Ebony and Enugu State last week by suspected Fulani men. And on Monday, a correctional facility and police headquarters in Imo State were attacked and inmates freed. While reacting to the sad occurrences, the IPOP criticized the governors for conniving with the Nigerian government to get rid of the group that should be protecting the territories and sabotaging the effort of its leader, Marzi Nandekano. The group stated this through a press release by its media and publicity secretary, a more powerful media available to Sahara reporters on Tuesday. The group asked the Imo state governor, Hope Uzodima, and his counterparts to stop shedding, sharing crocodile tears in the statement titled, IPOB to Southeast Governors, stop lamenting, we want you, but you ask for our heads. We, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, read with great amazement the lamentation and crocodile tears by the Southeast Governors, particularly Hope Uzodima, over the attacks in the Imo State and last week's massacre of innocent people in the Buni and Enugu communities. How come Hope Uzodima and his cowardly fellow Southeast governors are waking from sleep? Our, our message is simple. Good morning to you all. On Sunday, Vice President Yemi Osimbanjo, who came on a condolence visit to Ebony State, said the governors of the region were currently hiding their faces in shame. This was lamentation. Even when the killings happened, every unprovoked killings, some people said they give the governor of a bonus state 21 days to resign. We have been called all kinds of names and we feel ashamed that the same people we fight for today and night as governors and leaders of the Southeast to ensure the oneness of this country who know about attacks on Ebony State, and they were asked to leave and they left. And we were slaughtered and killed. What fate do we have then to face our people? We feel so ashamed to face our people, the statement said. The group further condemned the governors for supporting the prescription of the IPOB and their failure to support the Eastern Security Network. When our leader, Marzi Nnamdikano, was warning you people and your fellow saboteurs, you called him a miscreant. You and your fellow treacherous, self-acclaimed Igbo leaders, hurriedly outlawed IPOB, a peaceful movement, and prepared the ground for the federal government to target terrorists. You put Igbo leaders in your bid to please your slave masters approved Operation Python Dance that claimed many innocent Igbo youth. Thank God for the miraculous escape of our leader. Otherwise, the vampires would have drunk with his skull. When our leader set up Eastern Security Network, ESN, following the failure of the weak Southeast governors to protect the people, instead of supporting him, you connive with the federal government to hurt down our men, staking their life to protect our ancestral land. Now, the Fulani you hated your brothers to protect have risen to key your subjects in return. Why shared crocodiles? They are your friends and one Nigerian brothers. Why haven't you ordered for their arrest? The same way you you governors approved of the onslaughts against our men at Olu. 
You hate your own and protect your enemy. Clean your eyes and live with one Nigeria. Nigeria, okay, sorry. Clean your eyes and live with one Nigeria. Brothers, stop lamenting. We warned you, but you, you took us for fools because of your worthless, selfish political ambition. The statement had it. Meanwhile, Nigerians have this to say. <laughs> there is nothing the cabal cannot do if they can reduce or re own professor of law to an ordinary condolence minister or trade money, Kasha, to influence and bribe our governors. Now, small thing now, I know Umai and Uzodema are now beginning to receive the gossip truth from ESA. All right, someone said there, the only way we can end all this rubbish is to divide this country. Those who are, are called our leaders are wicked, at least to mention but a few. Protecting your territory by killing law enforcement agents and innocent Nigerians, is there no civilized way of pressing home the minds again? Come on, please. Someone just drop that. I am very happy as this war beginning in Igbo soon, they will see the result of supporting terrorists. They think Boko Haram uh, gets a whoop when our military strike back. Hmm. Too bad for you guys. A Boni state governor that was protecting Fulani in his state, Fulani killed and slaughtered his people. He came to social media and stated and started crying. Nobody even believed that such killing could happen in Biafra land. Have been very wrong all along, and indeed, Mazi Nabdikano is right, he said. So hello guys, I'm gonna drop it here. Let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Also, click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate. Bye for now.